Hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. I have noticed a lot of fuzz going around the internet, and it's about using Windows 11 with an offline account. Well, I have good news for you since I have tested three ways to use an offline account. All three ways work with the latest Windows 11 version. That is 24H2. At the time of this recording, the latest Windows 11 version is build 26080 from the Canary channel. Keep watching this video until the end, as we are going to try all the three different methods. Without further ado, hit that subscribe button and like this video, and let's start. The three methods know to work up to this day are the following. Using the no internet option. The no at thankyou.com way. And finally, the domain join way. Let's explore the three methods one by one and demonstrate the ways to use them. One thing to note here is that all three work only during the installation of Windows. So, for the first method, you have to start installing Windows from scratch. After completing the setup options and disk selection, you arrive at this screen where you have to select your language and keyboard layout. At this point, disconnect your computer from the internet. Keep up with the rest of the settings and when you arrive at the network connection screen, hit Shift plus F10. A black command window will appear. Type this command. The computer will immediately restart. Keep it disconnected from the internet. After it comes back, the setup will start again. Go on with the settings and at the internet connection page, you should find an option now where it says, I don't have internet. Click on that to continue and you should be able to add an offline account for Windows. Now, for the second method, it doesn't matter if your device is connected or not. Again, after installing Windows, you will arrive at this setup screen. Keep selecting the options you want until you arrive at the account creation screen. Here, select the setup for personal use option. As a username for this online account, type no at thankyou.com and use any password you want. It doesn't matter. You are going to get a message saying, oops, something went wrong. This is normal. Click next and now you should be able to create a new offline account for your computer. Do you find these methods easy too? Hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Another easy method is coming right now. The third and final method is to use a work or school account. Well, not exactly a work or school account, but when you arrive at this screen, select the work or school account option. Then, click below the sign in area where it says sign in options. Now click on the domain join instead option and at the next screen, you should be able to use an offline account again. Thanks for tuning in to explore these three methods for setting up a Windows 11 offline account. Whether you choose the no internet option, the no at thankyou.com workaround, or the domain join route, you now have multiple ways to navigate the process. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Stay connected, or offline, if that's your preference and see you in the next one.